How to Retire with Enough Money by Teresa Gallarducci, Investment and Asset Allocation. Welcome to yourbooksummary.com. It's okay to seek out a financial advisor or manager, but it's important to ask the right questions and be informed. Many advisors work on commissions and may prioritize their profits over your best interests. Certified financial planners charge a flat fee and do not have a financial stake in their recommended investments. You can manage your investments if you understand passive and active fund management well. Passive fund management involves investing in a stock index, such as the Russell 3000 or S&P 500, which includes stocks from many well-known companies. While stock market performance may fluctuate, you can benefit in the long run. Active management involves looking for stocks that will outperform the market. While it's possible to succeed in the short term, statistics suggest that index funds offer higher returns over time. When considering investment options, knowing the fees associated with actively managed funds versus passively managed funds is important. Typically, actively managed funds charge around 2% in fees, while passively managed funds charge only 0.1%. To put this into perspective, let's look at a $100,000 investment with a 5% annual return over 10 years. With an index fund, you'll pay $2,000 in fees and end up with $161,000. However, with an actively managed fund, you'll pay a much higher $29,000 fee and only end up with $134,000. It's also important to consider your situation when investing. While conventional wisdom suggests that younger people can afford to invest more in stocks, this may only be true for some. A good strategy is to allocate funds to indexed stocks and indexed bonds, such as the Barclays U.S. Aggregate Bond Index, starting with a 50-50 to 50 allocation and adjusting as needed based on age, life expectancy, and marital status. When investing, it's generally recommended to prioritize stocks over other options unless you're close to retirement and in a financially stable position. Stocks offer better returns over time, and if you're young enough, you may be able to weather market volatility. However, it's important to avoid making decisions based on emotional reactions, especially when the market is downturned. Resist the temptation to sell underperforming stocks and wait for the market to recover. I hope you found the information about how to retire with enough money by Teresa Gallarducci. If you're interested in learning more about the book, stay tuned for the next part of this series where we'll dive into the next section. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.